Wacky squirrel. <gasps> Witching hour. Oh, geez, this is getting way better. Oh, yes. 25 centers. Look at that. Vault of Evil. That's a nice, really nice jacket. It's a mo mobile uh, stereo. There's another signed uh, toy here. Eric Hinsky. Oh, look at this, guys. 10 gem mint. Oh, what's this, guys? What the heck? So much good stuff. Wow. Ah, oh, look at this. <gasps> oh, guys. Oh, 1973. This is great. Vintage stuff. Large talking and dancing Homer. That's dope, guys. And actually, the box is not bad at all. Emmett Smith. <laughs> oh, there's an ammo box. This is way better. This looks like it's in good condition. Yeah, there's Black Panther. What a funny looking uh, proportions on him though. 2018 Hasbro. Rockport, ooh, there's some good shoes. Yeah, those are actually uh, decent quality right here. Is there two? There's two. Like the second pair of matching shoes we found in the whole locker. <laughs> little tutu. Oh, this is good. Jeez. Drops right on. Oh, dropped on the ground. Dorbs. Spider-Man. Homecoming. Box is thrashed. Once again, box is thrashed, but still a good find. Put that in our keeper box. Hey, what else is in here? Charger cable. Okay. Ah, another smashed up tablet high sense on this one okay and then another single shoe that could match oh look at this guys Ooh, getting better we're getting better at this game the matching game okay uh, this is decent i think alloy frame backpack dbx 10 slash 5 they cut the cord on that Usually not a good sign. I'm putting back here stuff to go to the flea market. Okay, a little cooler. Empty, but clean. The Highland Mint. Minted Memories. Oh, that's neat. Oh, it's only $2.99 though. Oh, at Goodwill. But look at that. San Francisco Giants fan photo. It's got a couple coins in there. That's that's a little bit neat. A little bit neat. I'll put that aside. Even though it's not much at Goodwill, it doesn't mean it wasn't worth more. We'll look it up. We'll get you guys a comp. I don't know if we can find a comp on that. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, lucky. We, <laughs> we've gotten lucky so far on this locker. What the heck? I just pulled one thing out. Oh, that looks like a jewelry box right there. And look at this piece of luggage right here. It's got d Mickey ears on it. I pulled that. I did not even. Oh, okay. Yeah. Come on down. We're having a party. Just keep. Anybody else? Bring your friends. Sheesh. Toyotas sold here. Miss Natalie. All right. Let's see. Well, I'll get this closed out. I'll let you know if there's anything good in here. I can tell you right now, there's not. Mm, another thing broke here. Looks like probably a popcorn maker or something. Oh, that's cool. Look at this. <laughs> I mean, it's not really, but that's all uh, Priority Mail flat rate envelopes. I use these all the time. They're free from the post office, so it's not like a big deal, but I think they're discontinuing these. I heard a rumor about that. They might be discontinuing these types of envelopes. So if that is true, then I am stocked up for quite a while. I don't even have to order them. But it's not like I want to pay for a locker to get that stuff, but better than garbage. <laughs> Alright. It's going to be a lot more clothes here, guys. I'm going to go through it. I'll show you anything that's good. Look at that stained up. It was it was kind of cool. I think it's kids, though. Niso jeans. That was cool. It's just stained. Dang, that was actually kind of cool. Alright, I'll go through this. I'll let you know if there's anything, you know, noteworthy. Yeah, there's not one good thing in there. Seriously, all the clothes just go in the market. It's not nothing, nothing worth talking about. So cell phone case. There's an old Legos. That's a vintage Lego right there. Boy, that that's a throwback for me as a kid. Um, yeah, yeah. Look at that. 1975. No joke. I could have had this one. I may have. I was five years old at the time. I'll bring that to the market. Maybe maybe there's a collector out there that wants it. 
Ooh, mango pineapple locker drink challenge anyone? I don't think so. Oh, pelican, wait, that's gun stuff. No, okay, it's uh, this one's for photography. I think pelican makes gun, nice gun cases. Maybe I'm wrong. That's actually really cool right here. It's all foam, see, but it's, the foam's all like split up so you can like pull sections out to fit your stuff. Pelican 1300 case. I need to get that off, but th that might be worth selling. I don't know. It's a little dirty, but dang, I think that's expensive though. I'll put it aside. I need a little more time. Hillercraft Bradsby Company. Made in the USA. All right, guys. Moment of truth. Is there comics in here? Oh, there sure is. That is full. How many comics are in a long box? I'm thinking it's like 400 comics. That's what I think. CSI. I'm not seeing. Okay, let me get this out of here. I can't really see him. Ooh, ooh. What's that? Oh, what's that? Okay, we got one, two, three more comic boxes. Oh, <gasps> that's a short comic box. That's a comic box. What's back there? Cards in the in the cardboard uh, trays. Oh my goodness, guys. Oh, we're gonna end this one very nicely. Very, very nicely. Oh, this is beyond what I hoped this would be. Way more comics. Okay, there's an older Justice League, 75 cents. Yeah, they're, these are all mixed up though. Oh man, they're like upside down, they're backwards. Come on, you guys. Show a little pride in ownership. There's X-Men, Curse of the Mutants, huh? Number four, Wolverine. I'm not seeing the stuff I really was hoping to see, and that would have been like older stuff, or like, I don't know, I, I, I love finding X-Men, but this stuff, I don't know, I'm just not feeling this, I'm not feeling it, I don't know if we're going to have big money books in here, alright, but we still have a lot of books, we got money in quantity, if not quality, but I wanted to find a better quality, okay, next one, oh jeez, big old freaking cockroach right there oh jeez son of a biscuit that's unfortunate dang it there's poop all over it too ah yeah yeah you little buggers there's two of them in there ah oh, now what wacky squirrel <gasps> witching hour 25 cent book those are interesting best book yet i mean best box yet and we got freaking roaches in there the max nice Oh, guys, this could be better now. Okay, this could be better. Is that Werewolf by Night? Where Monsters Dwell, 25 cents, number 36. Oh, geez, this is getting way better. Planet of the Apes, <gasps> Tomb of Dracula. This is getting way better. This is exactly what I was saying. I was hoping I would find the older stuff, just like this, just like this. Jeez, 20, wait, that's a 20 centers now, 20 centers. Oh, yes, 25 centers. Oh, man, guys, this is good. Look at that, Vault of Evil. That's more modern. More modern. Huh. Okay, there's a little bit of older stuff in the front and then it got more modern really quick. There's Donald Duck stuff. I'm not gonna bore you guys with too much of this, but I am gonna get these out so I can get those roaches out of here. This is a dead one. If I find something like truly amazing in here, guys, I'm gonna update you after the video you know <laughs> look at that so disgusting huge old cockroach right next to a pokemon card that's an older one too isn't it hmm this is cool ghostly tales that looks old it's 25 cent another witching hour 25 cent this is really good i think it's 2016 on that pokemon not too old not too old okay now what am i gonna do with this oh man i hope those other ones don't have roaches in them too it's too bad those roaches put a little somber mood on that. Ooh, that Zeppelin. Oh, okay. That's actually not too bad. Huh. I'm surprised that record's not in worse condition, actually. It's not perfect, but it's not too bad. That's a good Led Zeppelin. Is that their uh, premiere album, I think? I'm not sure. I think it is. <laughs> it's just sitting there. Okay, this. Oh, what do we got here, guys? What do we got? Crossman Airgun. $10 as is. Uh, that probably means it doesn't work. Yeah. It's not holding any compression. So, it's 
still cool. Still good couple bucks at the flea market. Not bad. All right. I don't know what those are, dart guns or something? Toys, toys. It's another one, another uh, BB gun. This is a daisy though. That's a, a red rider. Ooh, that's a red rider. This is way better. Okay. This looks like it's in good condition. Mm, that felt good too. Yeah, that felt good. That's a good BB gun right there. Put that in the car. Ooh, let's put that in the car. <laughs> That's cool. That's going home with daddy. Man, another DVD player. It's getting crazy with those DVD players. Oh, okay, what's this? All oh, right, it looked like a jewelry box in. <laughs> it's no jingle jingle. Empty. Empty. Right. Hmm, bummer. I didn't think there would be anything there, but you never know. Garbage. Okay, this thing is interesting too. What is this? That is bizarre right there. I thought maybe it's a rain stick, and now I just think it's a just a polished piece of wood that they painted on. And it's actually pretty dang nice. Yeah, that's actually kind of neat. It's hollow all the way through. It's hollow. I don't know what the purpose of that is, but I'd say that's probably I don't know. At the garage sale, maybe 20 bucks. I'll take care of that. That's a, that's a different. We love the stuff that's different. We love the stuff that's unique. We love the quirky. Empty. Oh, I didn't notice that before. Yard sale. And that was his address. Okay. So he probably had a yard sale at some point. That's why we've seen the stickers, the price stickers on the stuff. I tried to sell his stuff. Lawrence Livermore Lab. Some kind of work poster there. That can get dumped. No value in that. That's a nice print right there. It's signed. A Craftsmanry or something. Okay. That's a nice piece. A note on original graphic artworks in the Karen Frame Park West Gallery. According to blah, 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 blah. Yeah, Krasnansky. Venice Yellow Sunset 2003. Serial lithograph in color on paper. Signed in the plate. I don't think it means it was really signed. I think it means that it was print, the signature is printed on there. So, but that's still kind of neat. I don't know. I'll bring it to the garage sale. Ooh, periodic table of the elements. It's a nice one. Or it was. All right. Luggage looks decent. It's from the Disney parks. It's really dirty on the outside, but that's a decent little bag. Kingdom Come. I don't know what that was for. Bucket Boss brand, extreme gear. It almost looks like a holster, but it's not. Hmm, that's gotta go to the garage, yeah. Oh, this is neat. It was, it, somebody ripped a big chunk of it off. Popeye the Sailor Man, old toy. Well, 2001, not too old, but it is vintage. That's head, uh, that's neat, I was reading. That's vintage, Coleco, head-to-head -head electronic baseball. It's kinda neat. Harry Potter DVD. This is a uh, comic book. Oh, a couple sports cards come out of it. Sprink sprinkler wire. Oh, look at this. Magic Johnson plate. $1.99 at uh, Walmart. It's from 1992. Made in Hong Kong. A few sports cards and that's about it. Okay. Swing arm lamp. Okay. This is... I've been waiting forever to get this thing off. Finally, we're there. What a terrible way to put your bike. <laughs> Even the cord is through the wheel. That's nuts. Whew. Boy, guys, we're we're getting some good progress here, but we have a lot more to do. Luckily, she told me I could come back tomorrow, finish it up. All right, that was such an obstacle to work around. But now we can get in here. Get some sheets in the bag. That's a nice uh, hook right there. I think that's for a bicycle or, or no, maybe it's for like a ladder. I mean, I'm sorry, a ladder, a, a rake and broom and stuff, but 
I think these things right here, they clip into those walls, those garage systems, you got like slats and they clip in. I think it's something special. That's, you need those slats though. Well, there's another Laura Croft right there. Okay, shot back. There we go, she's got her gun. Also very dirty in there. I see some little princesses in here. Little toys and stuff. There's little Crayolas. Looks like a mini brand's almost that one, but eh, I'm gonna let that go. Okay, that looked like something good, but it's not. It's just a just a purse. Okay, Ooh, that's a <laughs> that's a mess right there. Alright, some kind of little joystick. Keychain. Alarm uh, remote, I don't know. Some track, slot car track, it looks like. There's a little camera. 14 megapixel? What the heck? Kodak Easy Share? If that works, that's a really good little camera. And then right here we got some Fitbits, I think. Or Fitbit bracelets. No Fitbit. Okay. Use that tub again. Ooh, that one's in bad shape right here. A new day. Well, you know what? Someone might just use it at the market just to go shopping with, you know, like a shopping bag to hold their stuff. All right, empty. Okay, that'll probably sell at the market or not. Okay, it will. <laughs> there we go, she cleans up nicely. Yep, market air mattress looks kind of cleanish, kind of cleanish. Oh man, look at those cashews right there. It's like, come on rats, come in this this locker, it'll be fun. Come hang out. Plenty for everybody. That was so stupid. That's like, seriously, like rats are so attracted to the smells and that was a lot of nuts right there. Hey, locker nuts, just, just thought of that. There's a wheel and I see another one right there, a couple bike wheels, so we got those. That's good news. Yeah, this looks like a nice jacket. Orvis, oh my goodness, yeah, that's nice. Yes, that's nice. Orvis makes some really nice golf, uh, I'm sorry, fishing stuff, right? Really high-end fishing stuff. That is a beautiful jacket. Wow, okay. That, guys, I think it's leather. Thin slate insulation in it. Yeah, outside body is 100% genuine leather. Whoa, that's a nice, really nice jacket. It's gonna need to be spot cleaned a little bit, but surprisingly you know um the manager said that the guy hadn't even been here that long <laughs> which i mean that's kind of surprising right that that was not going to go to the market that jacket right there is probably 50 to 100 bucks right there that's what i'm thinking 50 to 100 starting lineup ken griffey jr and ken griffey it's a neat piece oh let's skip right over this nike double xl what's that you what's that what's that stand for you oh university of miami nice that's okay <laughs> things are definitely getting a little better oh there's an ammo box and look at all those cards right there guys i was standing here talking to you guys i didn't even notice all that you're probably looking in the video going wait jack look right there turn around stop talking dodgers little kids jersey merrick number seven soccer jersey oh what's this uh, fruit of the loom that is a single stitch shirt here, guys. That is vintage. What does it say? Oh, 1992 Junction Bulldog. I don't know what that means, but this is in super bad shape. Yeah, look at this. Oh, 1982. Oh, it says 92 there, but this is copyright 19... Oh, that's 92. Span America Seattle. That's... That's a... I'm going to have to put it aside. Even though it's in funky condition, it still is a little better. Some more jeans. Action West jeans. Son of a nutcracker. <laughs> oh man, that's gonna make me laugh. And I'm gonna cough because I'm not feeling so good. That is uh, really funny, really funny. I'm gonna put that aside. You don't scare me, I ride a mare. That's yeah, got a kind of a vintage look. It's got bleach stains down here. It is not a single stitch, but it still has got a vintage look to it. It's a women's shirt. I'm gonna put it aside. Mm, what's this? More bleach stains, really bad ones. Las Vegas, Harley Davidson shirt, dang it. Biker built. Um, yeah, the stains are really unfortunate, but I'm gonna put it aside. Another vintage shirt right here, guys. This is good stuff. This isn't really the kind of stuff we're looking for. I'm not sure what that is. 
Heliwood. Oh my goodness, that did look like Freddy Krueger. Tags cut out. Heliwood. Look at this, 1997 New Line Productions. Huh, that's... That's got some potential right there. That's a good shirt. I mean, I, I would never wear it, but nothing with the word hell on it with something that's gonna go in my closet, but or on my back. Robert Lewis, New York, 75% silk. That seems like a decent shirt. Oh, look at the armpits. <laughs> They're all blown out. Do you see that? She's, this was too tight for him. Okay, what's this? Ah, oh, this one's all tore up. Honda, dang it. That was cool. Was, it passed tense. You know what, I'm gonna put it aside anyways. Uh, I mean, I'll, I'll bring it to Stockton. See if anyone can use it out there. A couple pillowcases. All right, that's it. Okay, what's this? Look at this. Rhino. Model kits. Glue together model kits. Uh, sounds loose in there. That's not a good sign. Yeah. There's part of him. It's not been painted. Hmm. That's cool. Okay. That might have a little value, but I doubt it in that condition. I doubt it. Alright, what's this? <laughs> it's, I don't know what that is. It's a mo mobile uh, stereo compact disc player. It looks like it had a strap. It's broken off. Stockton will probably want it though. Mm. Brake pads right there. And a little dolly. Oh, look at this. A pair of shoes. Comba. K-H-O-M-B-U. Comba. Oh, brand new. Waterproof. Comba boots. Size 12. We might put those aside. Those might go into our auction. I don't know. Is Comba a good brand? I'm not sure. Seems like it could be kind of decent. That looks like Michael Keaton. No, is that? Or Val Kilmer. Is it Val Kilmer Batman? $3.99. <laughs> the Rookie. Norman Rockwell. Saturday Evening Post. They pulled it out of. Oh, that's neat. Really too bad they uh, crinkled that up like that. It's got a signature right there. It's Campbell. Is that Scott Campbell? 2015? Bomberuski. Let's get this out. This has got some good stuff in it. So far. Oakland Athletics. Ah. Oh, look at this. John Stockton. Magic Johnson right here. John Stockton. Some more John Stockton. Randy Johnson. Randy Johnson. Ugh, they're sticking. We'll put that aside. Oh, some more rocks. We already have found some. I think they might be in there. They're somewhere. Oh, look at this. There's another signed uh, toy here. Eric Hinsky. That one's signed. I think the other one was Eric Hinsky too that we found yesterday. Good. Really good. Really good. Really good. I don't know if I need that or not. Oh, whoa. That is a shirt. That is a really cool shirt. Size extra large. Warner Brothers Superman shirt. That is really cool. Okay. That's going to our auctions for sure. Commemorative stamps of the USA. Where's the stamps? I don't want the book about the stamps. I want the stamps, yo. Best Love Books. Scarlet Pimpernel. Tom Sawyer. Robin Hood. This looks like some more brake pads right there. I'm going to let those go. Mandarin from Finland. Little teacup. Hmm. Oh, look at this, guys. That's a graded card. Berry, berry Bonds. 10 Gem Mint Berry Bonds from Arizona State is college card from 1990. Oh, please, let's try to get a uh, comp on that. Hopefully, that's got some value. I haven't found a graded card in a very long time in any locker. It's a little Superman plush. It's pretty dirty. Justice League. Toy Works, San Antonio, Texas. He's got a dirty band-aid stuck to him. We'll let him go to the market. The <laughs> Chappelle Show. <laughs> That's awesome. Ah, oh, it's not there. That's a bummer. That's so funny. Dave Chappelle's hilarious. Okay, there's some more matching pieces there from... Oh, I thought it said Finland. It said England. It just wore off. A couple more pieces there. Sandman Stories. To read and tell. That's old. And unfortunately, he put it in where it got bent. Hmm. Merrill Publishing Company. Beautiful books for children, it says. All right, get that protected and put away. Nice. Mm, look at this little purse. That's cool. We sold one at our garage sale just over last weekend. A week ago today, actually. Uh, that one's in a little bit rougher shape. You see the loose threads and stuff. Uh, let that go to Stockton. This uh, pretty good size 
shop back around here. This will, oh, that's a DeWalt. That's definitely gonna sell. That'll sell. DeWalt's a great brand. And, uh, I mean, assuming it works, but I'd be surprised if it didn't. I almost feel like I should upgrade mine. Man, look at these cards. Oh, what's this, guys? <laughs> a little lockbox. Eh, that was short-lived. It's for keys. It's cool. wires in here tubing good flea market stuff oh look at this oh it's another cast iron uh popeye wow this one's not a bank but what does he do looks like he sits on something such cool pieces really neat stuff i like that well there's the brake pad box probably for the brake pads we found you know what before we get too much further back here let's get this let's see what's in here Okay. Oh, this is this is interesting. Okay, I'm seeing all kinds of neat stuff in here, guys. Look at this. Whatever this guy is, this clay statue. He's a little bit damaged, though. He's really interesting, though. Some pottery. Some more um, uh, figurines for baseball. What's that? Some kind of light box here. Some vinyl records. Some electronics. Dog training. Dog collar. A trainer, you know, whatever. Here's a um, Nikita battery charger, Polaroid camera. This is really interesting right here. Hmm. More electronics. Hey, yeah, yeah. You know what, guys? We might have to actually go through some of this somewhere else. So this is taking me a long time. Something like this takes quite a while to get through. I might. <laughs> I might just have to pack this up and go through it somewhere else. I'm running out of time, and the rain's coming, and I gotta get this stuff moved, too. Hmm. Alright, let me get this down. Oh, man, that's so good. I didn't know it was gonna be all... Oh, they're all... Look, at they're in there. Bacon bits, huh? Some cards. What the heck? So much good stuff. Look at this. Owlman from uh, Watchmen, right? Watchmen? Where is it? I'm not sure. I think it's Watchmen. There's She-Hulk. Ito? Tokyo Ghoul? I don't know that one. There's Colossus from the X-Men. Wow. There's some, uh, what do you call it? Baseball cards at the bottom. Ooh, look at this. Carnage. Hot Topic exclusive. That one's in a plastic. The plastic is kind of gnarly, but I think he's going to be okay. Okay, guys, we're going to transfer these. Let's look at what we got. And hopefully we can pull comps up as we go. Show you what these are worth. Ken Kaneki. Oh, the Tokyo Ghoul. I think I've had this one before. Tokyo Ghoul. It does sound kind of familiar, but I'm not familiar with it. I'm not familiar with the, the program, but I'm the the name sounds familiar. Ren and Stimpy. Nice. There's Ren. Oh, he's like a Dalmatian Ren. <laughs> Arrow. Felicity Smoke. Almost looks a little faded, though. A little bit faded. There's Hawk Girl. DC Bombshells. There's Power Girl. One Punch Man. Saitama. Found it quite a few of those already i love that video oh what is this my hero academia all might weakened weakened all might oh that's so cool huh, that one's in good shape too all right there's dorbs squirrel girl and dorbs there's the flash batman no back that's batgirl right this is batman but i think it's batgirl she hulk yeah look at this batgirl that's like the animated series, yeah, the new Batman Adventures, the animated series, that's really cool looking, I like that. Little Power Rangers, don't really care, I don't think that's anything, really. Tokyo Ghoul, another Tokyo Ghoul. Ah, oh, look at this, <gasps> oh, guys, oh, we just found it, we found it finally, we found something I think really good. Okay, this, uh, I hope this is coming out, because of glare. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, it's issue 75, but look at this. I, mm, Eastman right there, right? Isn't that the, uh, that's Easton, Eastman's signature on the book with a little sketch of the turtle. Eastman, one of the two uh, original creators of this book. That's why it's in this thick plastic. Oh, that's so good. And I don't know what that is, ink and brush, but uh, this is a good book also. 134, Hellfire Club. Ah, this is a, I mean, I have... I have this book from when I was a kid. Um, this is a good book, and it looks like it's in decent condition, but this this right here with the signature makes that very, a very special book. Ooh, I got really excited there for a sec. I'm still excited, but you know what I mean. 
Oh, okay, what's this? Lincoln cents. Ah, empty. Empty book. Nickels. Okay, the, by the price tags, I know these are empty. We found a book just like that earlier. Beautiful books. Empty, though. It'd be way more beautiful if they were full. That's for sure. Oh, there's an old kaleidoscope right here. Huh. That's neat. That's neat. The brass ones. Oh, let's go. that'll go home with us. What a great box. Okay, let's get some here. Now here's change. No, no, keys. Nice otter box phone case. Bunch of baseball, no, football cards, okay. Football. Yeah, man. Oh, man, look at all those keys. That's funny. I do, I have a key collection, guys. Uh, I have to admit it. I have to admit I do have a key collection at home. It's not really a collection. It's more just a little box I put all my keys in. Ooh, look at this. David Moore, that's signed. There's some gems in here. Hmm. There's some gems in here. Trying to set these in as carefully as I can. I know it looks terrible the way I'm setting them in there, but it's a step up from being in a plastic bag. Okay, what's this? More rocks. Maybe some gemstones in there too. Cool. Yeah, that's not full yet. We'll add a little more. Black and Decker Bullseye. It's a laser level and stud finder. That's interesting right there. A little bit of tools. Hmm. It's good tools. Decent tools. Right. That one looks a little more expensive though. Hmm. We'll let it go to the market. Good bag there for clothes once we fill the other one up. Oh man, this stuff looks good. I really feel like it's getting better the deeper we get in here. There's still a lot of stuff in here. Man. What a great unit, guys. 400 bucks. Let me just remind you, 400 bucks is what I spent on this. The Flash 1971 glass right there. And actually, the graphic is very bright, not faded out like it's been washed a million times. This actually looks good. Targus, Ryobi uh, battery. I think we found a Ryobi drill not too long ago. Put that in there. <laughs> Sneaker balls, deodorant. There's, There's a new shoe. We don't have a, haven't seen that one yet. Oh, look at this Sega Game Gear. That's a, like a Game Boy for Sega, right? We haven't found one of those in a while. Adam's Family's the game. These often don't work, I think. Uh, we'll have to test it, but yeah, those are stuck. There's an old Sports Illustrated, 1972, 1973 Time, 1974 Sports Illustrated, and 1980. Oh, that's the Olympics, I think, right? That's cool, those that might have some value. 1976. No magazine, 1975, 1973. This is great vintage stuff. There's an old um, magic card, two, uh, 2012, not that old. It's bent up. It's another toy, Superman bicycle or motorcycle. The spider right here. Hey man, you might want to get out of here. Just I'm telling you. You might want to find a new residence. Taz, power cell, power screwdriver. Hmm. Mm, that's cool. Mark Collins. Harmonica. Oh, look at this. Whole bag of Mark magic cards. Okay. That's cool. Yeah, heck yeah. I'm gonna have fun going through that. Yes, I will. See if there's any black lotus in there. <laughs> Hume Lake. High adventure. Wow. That's neat. Hmm. <laughs> From little fender i wish i had the battery cover a uh, little fender amp right there it's neat i wonder if that really works plug your guitar into that a couple action figures there's he man huh bunch of jack figures from jack in the box bunch of push pins jungle hollow rough shape on these magic cards that are just loose in here i don't think i, I haven't seen anything that was like a oh, shame though there's carnival sealed pack of cards this is interesting i think it's just resin just a neat little piece of what is this rolls razor i feel like it's probably for sharpening a razor or something it's made in england maybe it's just to hold your razor that's different a lot of money in here really dirty all right guys i think that's it i'm gonna Ooh, that's neat. Um, I'm gonna try to get everything out, throw the garbage away. 
maybe I'll take the change home and clean it up. I don't know. I don't have that much time to work on that kind of stuff. <sighs> see some foreign stuff. I see mostly pennies, but let me definitely get these cards out though. More mismatched shoes. At some point, we're going to be able to match some of those up. That's that little pin. Back to back champion Super Bowl 23 to 24, San Francisco 49ers. That's cool. But right, let's see what this was. Sopranos. Huh. Sense and Sensibility. That's sealed. That's probably not something people really care about. I don't know. Bring it to the market. It's a little Mario. Mario. Ooh. That's close to being something good. That's a Sony Walkman right there. It's missing the faceplate right here, but that was, uh, this was probably hundreds of dollars if that was in good condition. No joke, guys. Hmm, still might be worth something. Yeah, look at this. Street Fighter 2010, Capcom. That's a NES game. That could be good. Captain Neil Toy. Hmm. Okay, this cookie jar. Westland, number 25550. That could have been good, but we need the lid, or else it's not worth really anything. Need the lid. Ah, look at that. That is, I don't know what that is. Some kind of Mr. Potato Head or something? Darth Vader? He's missing the face. Huh. Hasbro, 2002. 20 years old. Interesting. Oh, there's another game. RBI. Really funky, but... Okay, yes. Look at... That might be worth something. We're gonna have to look that up. I am the knight. <laughs> Tracking mode engaged. I am the knight. Hmm. Another phone, Samsung. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a little heater. That is uh that'll be good in Stockton. 50 years, Charlie Brown Christmas. Alright, that's that. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> this is too much, really. I move one thing and like everything comes crashing down. I move the thing on top too. It's not even like I grab the bottom. Okay. A little hot wheel there. Not a whole bunch of slot car track here, but we're going to let that go. But I don't want to let any slot cars go. Aurora. That's not one. What's that? That's PS, uh, PlayStation something. Oh, Bombay. I think there's a, supposed to be a clock right there. Ooh. I'll let that go. Nope, that's just Hot Wheels too. No slot cars, just a uh, track. All right, that's cool. I'll take that to the market. I think there's a little value there. Ah, uh, that <laughs> this guy. That's the tray for the toolbox that's in there, but it's it's buried. We'll get that put back in. We're just looking for Levi's and vintage shirts, mostly. That's pretty much what I'm looking for. Nope, oh, this is a vintage shirt, maybe. Sublime, oh my goodness. Yes, it is a vintage shirt, size medium. It's a double stitch, but still, that's super cool. Sublime is, uh, I would imagine that's collectible. The lead singer died, right, a long time ago. Drug overdose. That's a neat shirt. Good one, good one. That's why we do this. That's why we go through this without passing it straight to the flea market, because the guys at the flea market would be snapping that up like in a heartbeat. That's what those guys go to the market for. That's why they're getting up early in the morning going. We're hoping to find Sublime shirts, for example. All right, that was it. That whole bag, one shirt. That's all it took, guys. That's all it took. So it is starting to get a little dark, and I'm and it's getting a little cold too. And I'm kind of feeling like I need to start speeding this up a little bit. So this is vape box right there. Get a bunch of stuff for a vaporizer, cartridges and stuff. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Empty box right here. Wait. Not empty. <laughs> a little Monopoly figure in here. Oh my goodness, it's a little Monopoly game set with a character. That's funny. Another single shoe. It's Corvette uh, cards here on a framed picture, but it's all tore up. Card box is empty. Good snap. Tura Pure water filters. Brand new. Alright, look at this. Simpsons. That's Homer Simpson. It's a big guy. A little ripped on the box right there, but. He's got posable, posable arms. Oh. Uh, I'm gonna lose my job because I'm dangerously unqualified. <laughs> English. What is that? I'm never going to England. <laughs> Large talking and dancing Homer. Stupid. I know I am. I said it. Oh. Oh. I said it. Do the one. The red and the 
Rapper's Delight. Oh my goodness, this is hilarious. I love it. 2002 on that. Let's try to get a comp on that. That might be worth a little bit. Oh, I'm so happy that wasn't an empty box. So happy. Okay. Another one single shoe. And that looks like a pretty decent boot right there. It's made in Canada. Yeah, that probably is decent. Hope we'll find the other one of that. There's Ant Shield. Not a good sign in the locker. And unfortunately, a little glass piece. We like finding glassware, but the ear's broken off. Oh, this is heavy. It says metals on it. Metals die cast. Oh, what is this? DC Comics bombshell. Supergirl and a 1956 Ford F100 pickup. That's dope, guys. And actually, the box is not bad at all. It's a little, little crushed right there, but not bad at all for this locker. Not bad at all. All right, let's try to get a uh, uh, comp on that because that is neat. It's Hollywood Rides. Huh. I don't see a model number. Hopefully you can find a comp. That's neat. Really neat. All this stuff has like a layer of dirt on it. That's funny. I have those exact same uh, plastic trays at home. That's funny. Oh, whoa. There's a whole bunch of die cast cars in here. We're going to have to take a closer look at that. Okay. Rockport. Another good shoe right there. Good brand. But alas. Only one. Only one. Look at that. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Eastman. 19, it says. 2019 or 2017. Could that be a real drawing? No. It's a print. It's really cool, though. Well, fan. Okay. <laughs> Another inflatable mattress. Intex. Good brand. And this one's got the pump built, uh, built into it, so that's kind of good. Okay, well, probably all or most of the weight was off on this right here. Bubblegum machine, not a cheap one. I thought it said Japan on it, but um, yeah, this it's not super duper heavy, but actually I think that's that might be plastic, but it's definitely metal. Oh, oh, that's another wow, it's different. It's another kaleidoscope. I think you just turn it. It's different. I don't know if I like it that much. It's kind of neat. There's a football. Looks like it's signed, but I don't think it is. I think it's printed on the ball. Emmett Smith. <laughs> Wait, where? <laughs> I'm totally off camera, guys. Sorry. Uh, Emmett Smith right there, but I don't think that's a real signature. I think it's printed on, but I'm going to put it aside so I can look at that later. It's getting a little bit dim in here. <laughs> I totally had, I thought the camera was pointed differently. It's okay, another shoe. Norsham Rack, 50 bucks. Again, I think we only have one. Okay, Funko Pop. Another Tokyo Ghoul. This is Rise. Oh, this is heavy. Oh, this is heavy. <laughs> okay. This is why it's so heavy. Look at that. Whole bunch of die cast cars. <laughs> Even some Yadro. What? That's so weird. So weird. There's this, uh, oh, there's a watch. Looks decent. This is a speed racer. Got a bunch of die casts. I wonder if we have any red lines in here. There's some older stuff too. Hmm. Not seeing any red lines, but what a weird mix of stuff in there. Okay. Good box. Oh, look at it. another scorpion in resin. I like it. We found uh, one of those already in this locker. More sheet metal. Oh, toolbox, but no no tools. A couple brackets. Yeah, brackets. Those will sell. Another nice uh, hanger right there for your garage. Yeah, what's up? It's getting dark all of a sudden here, guys, like really, really quick. This kind of light piece here. Tools. Well, I saved most of the change. Oh, never mind. <laughs> well, I'll have to find it later. Oh, wait, this right here. It's getting dark. Super fast. 21 cents. Yeah. And a bunch of random comics here. Really rough, 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 rough. I might actually just let these go to the flea market, believe it or not. Rough shape. A little bit more cards. Junk mill. A little bit more rocks in here. Hmm. Just random rocks. Some bike chain right here. I don't know if you guys can even see that. It's starting to get super dark. Did I mention that? <laughs> I don't mean to be repetitive, but it is getting very dark. I got lots to do still. Uh, Marvel Comics presents Wolverine in the Hulk. The condition is not great, but I think that might be a decent book value-wise. I don't know if I can let those go to the market. I don't know if I could do that. I might just have to put these with the other comics. All right, guys, hopefully you can even see me. I don't know. It's getting dark. Quick, fast. Inefficiently, the dark is coming and it's doing its job. I don't want to unbox in the dark. There's no light in here, so I think we might have to come back tomorrow. Uh, so I'm going to take this right now. 
there's a chance I might come back and grab some of this good stuff and just bring it to my locker and we can go there and unbox it afterwards. So anyways, but anyways guys, that's it for today uh, as far as this video goes. If I come back, I probably won't film it. I'm just going to grab and go and move it. So, um, yes, thanks for watching. I hope you had fun. I sure did. We found some amazing stuff. My favorite, though, is definitely the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles comic book signed by Eastman. That is really cool. Uh, really uh, kind of unexpected, but what I was hoping, whenever I see comics, I hope there's something special. I think that is a special book. I don't know if it's pricey or not, but it's special. It's now special. I don't even think I'm going to sell that one. And there's all these comics, and there's all these cards, and there's all these boxes. There's a lot more uh, potential in this locker, but already I am blown away. This is going to be one to remember because this one took us from the gamut of what is going on in there to, oh, this is great. This is good. This is so many wonderful, exciting things. It, it almost reminds me of the one if you watched my Dusty Hoarder locker where it was like electronics and just so much dust. This one had that feel of it where it's just like... I. I mean chaos going on in here stuff lumped on top of other stuff it had that same feel I haven't really tackled one like that since that that one had not very many treasures in it. it had just a little tiny bit of good stuff a lot of garbage this one had a lot of good stuff and it's not even that big so um, I'm having a great time if you can't tell from my voice I'm really enjoying this and I hope you are too we're gonna be back probably be back here but if not we'll be back in my locker to go through this uh, but we'll be back going through this stuff in the next episode. Until then, good luck to you, God bless you, and we'll see you next time here on Loganuts. Good night. Oh, there's a PSA. Great, and now that's a five, not super high. It's had a $50 price tag on it. Sid Gordon from 1953. I haven't found graded cards in forever. What the heck, that's Mickey Mantle. <laughs> and on that side, it's a Michael Jordan.